Welcome back guys, the West Coast. Today, we got some bad news. Our excavator, which we had ordered, well, we had ordered to get here. Well, let's say it was an accident, and it's not going to be coming for a really long time. That said, I have got something else. Since the excavator, well, was well, what happened with it? But you guys, this ain't what we got. If you remember, this was on the New Holland we used to have. New Holland the T6. With the front loader and the uh, power port. If you guys want to see these, these tire tracks, you'll see what I have got for replacement. And for, until the time comes, we got something to replace the track hoe. This is our replacement tractor. Okay, this is the TS-115 at New Holland. You might be wondering because this is red instead of blue. Well, I know that. You ain't lost your mind. And I've done a little research, and there is a certain th there is a such thing as this red version. It surprised me at first, but there is. I'll show you guys the customizations on it. Front loaders, this the one. The engine setup. Standard low profile top tires, no fenders, and clean windows. You put tent windows, all fenders, only back fenders, and only front fenders. Standard low profile tires, standard narrow tires, wide low profile tires, wide tires. That's it for that. We'll start from here. The TS90. TS90. On the red version, the TS-100, the TS-100 in the other version, TS-110, the TS-110 again, TS-150 Turbo, and the TS-150 Turbo, and that the version that this is right now. Front loader, attacher, yes and no, I have it set for yes. Something I really love about this. Something I've not seen in many tractors. Do you see that? Do you see the difference in the dash? We actually have dash lights on the dashboard. And look. Beacon lights. Turn signals. If you guys ain't played this game, none. Do you want to know what I'm talking about? But I'll say anyway. I'll just say what, what I'm talking about. And there is not many vehicles at all in game that have working interior lights. So let's go over to. Well, let me see if this one actually has. Oh, wait, this one does. You see the lights turn on there. Wrong tractor. This one does. But the thing is, something like this, no interior lights, no interior lights, no interior lights, and again, no interior lights. So I'm glad to actually see something else add to the farm with that feature. Honestly don't know why it ain't in all the tractors. The only vehicle that do have it is modded vehicles. But we are this is gonna be our front loader tractor that we'll probably use the most. It doesn't need the fenders on it, so that's why I don't 
Have him on it. I like a tractor. Just cruising around here. If we ever needed to do anything, I mean, you could change the tires, put narrow tires, wide tires. But you always put, I believe that you put a sprayer on this. Yeah, because it's a front attachment, front three point linkage. A speed test on this thing. We'll, get, we'll let you on the main road before we do that. I'm going to take us up to the other farm because I'll be using this for moving hay. But first, something we need to do. We need to come up here. But guys, if you didn't know, which I don't think I told you, anybody, we had traded the T6 for the excavator. And since we then traded the, the T6 off, we were supposed to get the excavator, and then the accident that had happened with the excavator was the accident that the, the guy delivered it, got it into, got into, basically totaled it, and then it says it's going to be a while before we get it. An excavator in return, but they made a deal with us and they decided to give us this old tractor. Really good tractor, I have to admit. I love it. This is gonna be like a partial mod review, well, mod review on it, plus an episode of the West Coast. Is anybody wondering why I was going through all the features with it? Let me just take that off, take that off, then take the last strap off. Let me tilt that. There we go. Let's pile it there for now. Get these last two logs off. There we go. The bing and the bang. I'll leave the bell wedge on the trailer. Someone will be using it to me. Moving hay. So I'm going to go ahead and take it to the other farm anyway. Just so I have everything there. And you go and in cab till it forks up lower it like so and my camera said it when I need it and he said that I could see out my mirror I use these mirrors more than you guys think I can guarantee no, well, not really, can't, I can't guarantee, but I'm pretty sure nobody even looks at the mirrors or pay much attention to them. But a lot of times I use them. I'm going the long way around. Oh, wow, I think it's a long way. I just about knocked a drink over, which scared me. Hey, if there's anybody actually watching this, I want one person comment down below. Tell me what's your favorite drink, actually. What is your favorite drink? I'll tell you mine. Mine is Dr. Pepper. Between Dr. Pepper and Cherry Dr. Pepper. Those are my two favorites. Probably Dr. Pepper is my favorite.
I switch them up most of the time. Just dark pepper, cherry dark pepper. Just kind of keep it changed up. Have something different. I like giving their shout out to another good buddy of mine. He's got his channel back running, well, back uploading again. I'm guessing daily. His. I'll have to find him again. He done something on here. While I'm doing this, I'll text and drive. Well, not text and drive. I'll go on YouTube itself to find him. I've subscribed to him, and I recommend you guys doing the same. I'm going to pull over here a minute. So I can see this. Let me just find it. I'm going to search through here. Okay. Aaron Presley. The boy's got 10 subscribers. I'm proud of him. I'm one of them good subscribers. Please go subscribe to his channel and subscribe to mine also if you ain't yet. That helps a lot. Another channel you should subscribe to is James Presley. So those are two people that my honest opinion that deserve attention they're really good people and once you get to their channel just kind of comment on their videos say yo little game sent you I'll go this way if I just have one person do it that might be happy enough now I'll take us in there I don't want to hurt the grass. We'll destroy it. I'll just pull in about right here. find a place to park this thing um, look around something we'll need to check is if I get to it if I ever do get to it water is good grass when you get them some grass do I have a bucket I don't think I do actually um, no, I do not. I just had the one for the forklift. That is it. Well, well then. Hmm. That's a bummer. We need back up here. Now I'm thinking about it. This needs to be Ted. We'll do this in this episode. That'll probably be it. It's not a big tether, so I know this tractor could power it. So it's probably going to go on your guys' nerves. It's the blue front, the blue front loader. Don't know what happened. My words there. Oh, good grief! Can't talk. Blue front loader of the black pallet fork and the red tractor. Okay, the pallet forks, I don't, not a big fan of changing the color of them. The front loader was already blue when I got it. And I'm not about to waste money on changing the color. It's not hurting me. So, I mean, there's no really point besides just making it look better. So, this farm isn't about the looks. It's about the good machinery that works. It's not the power. It's not how the machine looks. It's the miles that matter. It's the hours and maintenance. That's what matters. It's 
what you need. You make do with what you got. I've not known any farmer to have buy something that wouldn't just change it, the color of it. Spend a lot of money changing the color of it just because it doesn't match a tractor. That's just my opinion. And that's just what I've noticed off all the local farmers around here. But yeah, I don't know how it is. I don't know people want me to change it. But just to let you guys know, I don't actually plan on changing it, so no point in telling me that. I might change it one day, but I don't plan on it anytime soon. I ain't got much money to be wasting also. That's probably another reason why I'm not going to. And I apologize for having to go and search of a friend of mine's YouTube channel. Um, he changed it recently and I forgot what he changed it to. He used to be pro gamer Aaron. Now he's changed it to Aaron Presley. And you guys ain't no, ain't know by now, like learned. Aaron's a really good buddy of mine. We treat each other like brothers. We are back now. After that, it wasn't really long at all. I mean, bare nothing. And I also got another question for you guys. I'm sorry, we got so many questions. Do you guys like my, well, me building houses on Minecraft? The latest one I did, the uh, uh, second one I did so far. That's uploaded. I have not uploaded part two yet. Got recorded. But I ain't uploaded. Well, that house did not turn out good at all, from in my opinion. So I'm going to be doing a lot of work to it. The probably best build I've done so far that I actually like. It's probably the first house build I've done. Yeah, I find a good place to park his thing for this episode. I'll just back it up here. Seem good enough for me. Make sure the lots ain't on. Something I don't have to do anymore, which I'll get used to. I mean, you have to get out and look, see the lights are on, or the beacons are on. I just see this, the button, that light there tells me that is on, that is off. 
Don't fire us up. I need to move it. It's kind of in the way. Alright, guys, I'll have to resume the Valley of the Old Farm series. I'm going to be start recording on it again. I was waiting for the delivery to come there too, but the delivery isn't coming. Maybe I could work something out and I might get something. But there's no telling. I'll back this up in here. Drop that off. We can just pull in this shed. Full tr the tractor's full in there. They went ahead and that weight. I don't actually, I didn't actually get, say it from inside of the tractor. So I have to just guess where it's at. That's why I did that. Don't want to be running into that thing. That's a quite a bit of money right there. We might need it one day to cut some wood, make some planks. Might build something. There's no telling. But now I realize I have two red front loader tractors. I know the Balter's going to be staying. I don't know about it being a front loader on it or not. I pretty sure I'm going to keep it here. But I might detach it just to keep this as a tractor where I could use the reverse control easy in. I know the uh, vent has reverse control or reverse drive control or let me see how, what that's called. We just change driving direction. So I could change the driving direction in this and the vent. I need to find a bucket for this or that one. I might go ahead and start looking for a good bucket. And something I was testing out. This pack had an update. And the update, and this, has a glitch. I don't understand why. I don't know how it worked right now. I don't know if it'll work now, but I'll try to show you guys. The vehicle tool cannot be purchased. Please try again. See, there's a glitch with that. See, you you also get the one out here, which you can purchase fine. But I've realized a problem with it. But I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not. There's no telling. It could be just be like that on purpose. I'm trying to think on what it. Oh, yeah. So I went a completely different direction as I needed to go. <laughs> I'm getting tired. And I do not have it enabled. Oh, I should have known. Is this it? Um, I don't know if I did or not. No, that's not it. It's the Flegel pack. One of them buckets. I'm wanting to purchase for the tractor. That's it, guys. All I'm going to see you in the next episode.